Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Nelly Kutalot. And we, well, we just threw the cat in to the, well, castle, to the tower. Oh, White Bear Tower. Uh, White Bear Tower, and um, the cat is distracted by the fish. And I just saw the inkwell on the desk. So um, I have the idea that I could, like, like throw the ink into the fish thingy and that will make it dark something like that I mean put the ink into the water this won't kill the fish I hope uh, at least it's something I can pick up right are you looking to get my signature deer no oh wait uh, he noticed me trying to swipe it okay so let's wait for him to read something oh he's reading he's reading he's reading got it yeah you're too slow swiped teach him to read okay good now that we got the ink we can hopefully, hopefully, uh, get that stuff to work. Yeah, get that stuff to work. I mean, uh, get the cat to steal the pass, and then we can get to Saul Island, which is our goal. Since there are weird things going on. Okay, good, good. Uh, wait, how did I do that again? Right click. Uh, I think my inventory is full. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Take, um, take the ink and put it into the fish tank. Since this is octopus tank, I know it won't hurt a fishy. Good, 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 good. Okay. Meow. Now fetch me that gate pass. Go on. Hooray! That worked fine. You did it, you furry wee scoundrel. That gate pass is mine. Great. Uh, do I have the cat still with me? Oh, I have the cat still with me. Perfect. Now I got a gate pass. Uh, with the gate pass, I can go to the tall booth, give it to blind Jimmy, who is blind. Um, which is really weird that he can read the pass, now that I think of it. Guess what, Jimmy? I have the gate pass. Really? Check it out. You got it. Yup. Okay. I can't believe the Baron give it, gave it to ya. Yes, gave. Ha! Well, take care of yourself and enjoy the visit to Saul Island. Thanks, Jimmy. See you later, Nell. Nell! Oh, Nell. Okay. The frig. Okay, now it's uh, evening. Uh, it's uh, the middle of the day, I mean. Evening, yes, of course. Okay. Death! Death! This place is creepy. It looks creepy. It must be the leper colony. Okay, beware. Warning. A padlock. Well. Uh, let's talk to the flag. No, uh, let's look at it. That's worrying, yeah? Someone doesn't want people exploring. Okay, um. There's nothing I can do to lock to lock that big. Maybe I can use the cat burglar? I think the padlock is a little bit beyond my fuzzy friend. But what if I use them together? I don't think I ought to give boost to a fuzzy kitten without a good reason. Maybe if he turns to be a no good cowardly kitten. Yeah, okay, so... a window. Let's have a look. It's dark, but I think there's something on the other side. Uh, grab in. I'm not going to reach in and grope around. Uh, what if I put the cat in there? Maybe it can open up? I don't think those things will work together. Damage! And again, I have no idea what you do. Did it useful here? If I use that heavy rock, no. Rusty spikes, barbed wire. Guys, guys, what am I supposed to do? I have... I don't think... Quill, what, what, what would I need a quill for? Okay, we gotta find something. Maybe, maybe there's something in the shop for us. Maybe we can find something in the shop, guys. That would be helpful. Uh, I don't think he will tell me anything. But... I might check in later. Okay, Market Street, Bjorn and Olofsson. Guys, please tell me you got something. Okay. What's new in stock? There's nothing more I could talk about. Tell me about... Brass monkey warmers. If your brass monkeys are being chilled, try our woolen warmers. They're cozy form. 
Pirate DVDs. Uh, we are having a burrow full of bootleg blockbusters. Justin today, carrots of the Pyribian. Haha. <laughs> um, deck swap. <laughs> I've heard enough. Okay, so. They don't have anything for me. Swords, I cannot get those. Ships, wheel, cannon. Hmm. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit. Oh, I'm confused right now, so... Ooh! Hook a duck! It's finally open! Things have changed! Because the day changed. Oh, I, I was shocked for a second there. I saw something in my frame. But it was only my cat. <laughs> I thought someone was standing behind me. God damn it. Okay. Uh, hello, dear fine sir. Greetings, sir. I'm Nelly. Hello, darling. Stipple Velloway's here, roll ups. Can I interest you, good self, in a hook a duck challenge? Marvelous prizes to be won. Oh, give me a try. Not so fast, miss. Cross my palm with one dollar, dollar. You're a cockney. You're right there, darling. How did you get such a long way from London? It's a long story. It all began many years ago. Okay, so. Definitely mistook him for someone he wasn't. And I floated here in a tobacco pouch. That's incredible. Turned out nice, actually. Me being a Hakadok expert and Meath being badly in need of a Hakadok stall. How's business? A quiet, if truth be told. I never close to stand, though. Hakadok is my blood. That's all I know. Good for you. You're living the dream. Uh, what are the prizes? Each one is a unique Meath curio. But the price you get depends on how many ducks you hook. A dollar buys you eight chances. I don't have a dollar. One duck wins you a fine sample of local seawater. Wow. For two, you get an antique Meath telephone directory. For three ducks, you win a traditional Meathian penny whistle. <gasps> oh, Meathian penny whistle. And there's a fly on my friggin' table. Stupid fly. Cat killed a fly. Four ducks win you an attractive potted cactus. Five ducks get you a lovely shell necklace. Uh, Neckers. Necklace. For six, you win a deck of souvenir playing cards. For seven, you win a Methian wool rainbow scarf. Indispensable in this weather. And finally, eight ducks wins you Baron Whitebeard spoken word album. I hate you and everything you care about. The first all shouting spoken word record. <laughs> okay, Spoonbeak, seen any? Afraid not, but a fine range of ducks for your perusal. Hook them and win yourself prizes. Well, apparently, I cannot play. Hmm, Baroness. Tell me something I don't know already. No. I've seen a lot of booty in my time. Yeah, and a big one. Okay, so. Hmm. I'm now a bit lost here, guys. Hmm. What to do, or what to do? Let's have a look at the barnacle again. Maybe there's something I can do. Maybe I can talk to the barkeeper. There's still this blue item up here I would love. For whatever reason. Now it's not a time for punching. It's a time for talking. I've changed my mind about this drink. Hmm. I can't get in there. I don't have a dollar. How do I get dollars, guys? How do I get dollars? Okay, so let me quickly check. We have a Facebook, Facebook. We have cat guts. We have a heavy rock. We have a quill and a pash. Which doesn't do anything for us right now. Oh wait. Oh, oh! I could go to the salt mine. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I did not notice. Okay, so we're at the salt mine. Oh, there's a door. Open it. Open. Open the door for whatever reason. I don't have a reason right now. I'll find one. I don't want any hot cold. Stayed room in my pockets. Probably. Okay, mechanical arm. Holy moly, what's that? El Mono? Hello, El Mono. Hello, creepy monkey. Hello. Yeah, he's definitely creepy. Okay, let's, let's go in here. Whoa. There's some kind of barrier I can't get past. It must be something to do with that creepy... Oh, maybe I can throw a rock at him. Uh, you know 
what? Let's have a look at him. A strange creature, I think he's guarding the mine. So he... Miracle of engineering. Miracle. It looks dangerous. Okay, guys. We need to get rid of that monkey. How would we get rid of that monkey? I can't reach him, so... Let's use the catch. No. Mm. Cat guts. Nope. What if I give cat guts to him? No. So nothing. And I can't throw it. So what about this? Let's have a look at the miracle of miracle of engineering. Uh, hold down, weasel, hold down. Okay. It seems to be attached to the furnace. So if I turn off the furnace. Coals inside a red hot pipe uh, to that machine. It seems to be under a lot of pressure. Mm, so if I use a rock, I do like that idea, but I shouldn't draw attention to myself by bashing pipes for no reason. Mm, okay, agreed, but mm, let's put the cat in the oven. No, I don't think so. So maybe I have to somehow disable the machine by disabling the furnace, and then you will go away. I really don't. Mystic symbols. Let's have a look. Hmm. Looks like they're part of the, his enchantment. Hmm. I don't have anything I can do right now. Check the map again. Uh, I don't think I can do anything over here. It's still closed. Cat won't help me. Hmm. I don't have any new items. I wonder. I really do. Okay. You know what, guys? I'll make a jump cut and we will continue as soon as I find something out. Ooh, I could talk to the window. So, jump cut! We're back! Um, it's just a leper colony. Leper colony. Pah. Go away and leave us to our misery. Talk to them again. I thought there was a leper colony on the island. That's because you've been taken in by old Whitebeard's propaganda. You mean there isn't a leper colony? No. It's a lepre colony. What's that? A colony of leprechauns. Really? <laughs> now be off with ye. Cool, we got a little leprechaun to talk to, so this took me quite some time to figure out. Uh, didn't know I could talk to the window. So, my name is Nelly. I'm a pirate captain here to follow the Baron's schemes. Really? How? Well, I'm not too sure what his schemes are exactly, but as soon as I know, foiling. Tell me about your colony. Sir, so, sure, we lived on Soul Island for about hundreds of years, or hundred of years, or hundred years. We moved here to fill our pots with the gold of Soul Mine. And we had a world of fun hiding them from tourists and doing little magics for them. So what happened? The Baron caught wind of the gold, but then we refused to mine for him. He Walled us in and told everyone this was a leper colony. The fiend! Then the tourists stopped coming and we didn't have any more visitors. That made us sad. You poor sweet things. Why don't you try to escape? Oh, metal is no barrier to a leprechaun. We are powerful magicians, the walls aren't the problem. Then what it is, we are sensitive people. Since the tourists left and these dreadful warning signs appeared... Sorry? Appeared? Yes, we've lost our spirit. We just sit around all day watching the shopping channel. That's lovely. How awful. And without high spirits, our magic doesn't work. And we're the, unlock lucky we're the unluckiest leprechauns on earth. Have you heard about the missing spoon beaks? I was told they might be here in Soul Island. Hmm. Well, someone must work in Soul Mine these days. I'm pretty sure the Baron's wife ain't doing the digging. You mean the Baron's Whitebeard might have enslaved the trusting and delightful Spoonbeaks? Oh my god! I must get into the mine. Oh, what? The mine is guarded day and night by the Baron's dreaded Juju Henchman. Juju Henchman? They call him El Mono. Watch out for him, he's creepy. Uh, so I think El... Oh, no. I think El Mono is the monkey. Let's get that microphone a little bit closer, guys. I've seen El Mono! Yeah, playing around with the volume. So I've seen El Mono, and he isn't as dreadful as you made out. He was just floating on an old rock, waving a stick about. Oh, I'd see a kind of magical barrier over the mine entrance. Ah, he must be working his mojo in a trance. How can I stop El Mono's magic? Um, do you know? 
Nope. Well, maybe. So how can I end the enchantment? You can't, but perhaps we could. You mean leprechaun magic? Yes, but it can't work. Why? Our spirit is crushed, our magic is gone. We're no help to you. How can I get... How can you guys get back your spirit? We're lost cause, you might as well go home. Stop talking soft. Tell me how I can raise the service team of you little people. Alright. Well, that death flag is really depressing. Maybe if we change it to something nice, it would buck up our spirits. Then we could use our magic to help you. I suppose so. You need a flag that'll really get people going. Something fierce and bold. Like a defiantly clenched green fist. I have a better idea. Wait a moment. I've drawn your blueprint here. Hmm. A big pink flag with a rainbow on it. Yes, and a four-leaf clover. Are you certain this is the kind of flag you guys need? Sure, it'll drag the whole colony out of the doldrums. Well, I'll try it then. Okay. Um, I can't afford to buy fancy flags. I don't have two dollars to rub together. Okay, then here. Ooh, we got money. Money, money. Two dollars. What's wrong with that? It's hardly a fistful of dollars. Well, any chance of a few dollars more? Those coins are the last of our leprechaun's gold. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Yes, they are sure about the flag design. Don't ask these things, Nelly. So, mm, now that we got the dollars, we can go to the uh, rogues gallery. Love it. Love it. Mm, donation box. So... If I put a dollar in the donation box, I can now go in, right? Many thanks for your kind donation. Knee problem. Enjoy the wonders of the rogues gallery. So have I told you guys, if you donate for the game a certain amount, you will be in the rogues gallery in game. Yeah, check out the Kickstarter project. Awesome. Oh, what's that? Okay, so this is definitely Captain uh, Thingsbeard. That, uh, that guy that talked to me. Bloodbeard, me old pal Bloodbeard, looking fiercey as ten. Uh, postcards. Ooh, take postcards. Okay, now I got a postcard. That's nice. What is on the? Oh, it's a. How's it going, postcard? Um, it's a postcard of Bloodbeard looking fierce as ten. Okay, so don't know what I need that for. Oh, let's have a look at the blueprint. A detailed blueprint for the flag of Leprechaun. Pink flag, rainbow, four leaf clover. Okay, I know where I can get the four leaf clover. I remember that. There was a four leaf clover on Whitebeard's castle, and I think I could win the flag. Tiny hat? Take the tiny hat. It's for a tiny headed person who wouldn't fit me. Mustache! Take the mustache. I'll be taking this for whatever reason. Let's steal the mustache. Skeleton! Take the skeleton. Shaking skeletons is only fun if it's dinosaurs. Skeletons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Painting. Let's have a look at the painting. A ship at sea. Boring. Two vintage bottles of Mama's Fish Cakes non-specific. It's another picture of a ship. Apparently they are really interesting to pirates. A treasure chest. That's what I that's what it's all about in the piracy game. Okay. Let's let's, let's get out of here. Guys, let's get out of here. So let's talk to the what, what, grab a duck? Ah, what was the name again of this thing? Um Market Street. Hook a duck. Hook a duck. Let's talk to him again. Because he had some interesting prizes to win. And one of them was this weird scarf, right? Uh, rainbow colored scarf. So, what are the prizes? Okay. Um, eight chances. One duck wins you a fine sample of local seawater. We don't need that. Antique me telephone directory. No. Traditional penny whistle. No. No cactus, uh, no, no. Rainbow scarf, okay. Uh, seven, so I need seven. Um, okay, so I need seven ducks. I have to go. Mm, what about, okay, just try it. Give him the dollar. I have a dollar, I want to play the game. Marvelous. Each duck has a little metal hat with a hook on it. All you have to do is hook him, okay. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. You're ready to play? Let's take a look at the prizes. One duck wins, you find some... Okay, I know that. Yes. 
Uh, yes, yes, no, no. Yeah, I want that. I want the uh, rainbow scarf, so I need seven. Okay. Okay, grab the hook. Wait. Oh. You missed? What? Uh, that's tricky. And let's hook a duck. Are you kidding me? Bad luck, darling. You didn't hook a single duck. Those ducks ducked. I think the game is rigged. Yeah, I think so too. Let's punch him. Uh, damn it. This was hooked. Are you kidding me? This game is rigged. You've trained him to dodge. Nonsense. I am honest as the next cockney. So you admit it. What? No. Listen, darling. It's a simple enough game. The ducks wear little metal hooks. You have a big metal hook. You use the big hook to catch the ducks. Easy. The ducks stuck whenever I get the hook near their little heads. Duck, 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 duck. Nonsense. You just don't have the skills. I need a coffee. You're a cheat. I'm going to report you to the hook a duck embassy. Uh oh. I have contacts there, you know. In the embassy. Well, how about I give you the dollar back? You can have another try if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So. Uh, I might need to do something with the hook. I might need to do something with the hook. But we, we could try again. I mean, they're ducking. Hmm. How would we get... How could we improve the hook, guys? Wait, 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 wait. I remember. I remember. Wait, no, no, don't go in there. They had this eye hook, which was magnetic. Um, I want the eye hook. I cannot afford it, but maybe I can borrow it. That would be cool. Mm. Gentlemen, I would like to buy the eye hook. $700. So where's Scott is being extra? Will you be paying in coin or bullion about that? Will you accept an IOU? No, we are finding it unwise to trust pirate types. No offense meant. It's alright, trying to scam you. Uh, will you accept bullion rather than a bullion? Um, can I trade you something for it? Possibly, we are trading all kinds of nautical memorabilia. Ooh, 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 I have something, I have something. Um, uh, Okay, come on, come on. Uh, never mind, I don't want it. Okay, so I have this mustache, right? Ah, oh, I'm I'm a genius. What do you say, the facial hair of Fernandez del Toro? I hope you were not paying for that, young lady. I'm afraid it's being a fake. The real mustache is being in the British Museum in the piracy section, no, in the unidentified <laughs> species cabinet. Oh, damn it! I thought this would work. Okay. What else do I have? The postcard. I could try the postcard. Would you trade me the fine eye hook for this etching of the dread pirate bloodbeard? That being a fine picture, but can you prove its authenticity? What do you mean? A Marcus Marcus signature. Something that is connecting the picture to bloodbeard. Give me a minute. <laughs> um, hmm. What about a pass? No, then I still want that one. Hmm. Ooh, 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 I know, I know, I know. If I... Maybe I can get the sig... I don't know if I can get the signature on the postcard by him. I could try. I could try, but he does not have uh, ink anymore, so... Maybe. Damn it. Excuse me, I'm reading. Guys, I have no idea what to do. I don't have $700. Oh, wait. Oh, the phrase book. Maybe I could use the phrase book because it's very old. Maybe that might work. Hmm, what about the phrase book? He's a real pirate treasure. It's a genuine pirate phrase book. Those are only for tourists. We've been selling them for years. Damn you! Hmm. So after feeling, I have to use the postcard. But no friggin' idea how. Yeah, oh, 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 okay, so. So I will continue the video as soon as I know how to make that postcard authentic or at least find something else we can progress with. Um, I still can uh, get the clover, right? The four leaf clover? 
I think so. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Check out the Kickstarter campaign. Uh, if you want to be informed about new videos, subscribe to my channel. Would help out a lot. Share it with your friends, whatever you like. Anyway, my name is Weasel. Thanks again for watching. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye!